While global warming is wreaking havoc around the world, no environment is as drastically affected as Antarctica's. Here it has changed the face of the continent and has disrupted its fragile ecosystem unlike any other place on Earth. Here we've seen mean annual temperatures rise by about three degrees Celsius over the past 50 years, which is something like five times as fast as global average temperatures have risen over that period. As a result, huge chunks of ice are breaking off the continent. In March 2008, the Wilkins Ice Shelf, about the size of Connecticut, broke away from the mainland. And while melting icebergs do not increase the world's sea level, land ice, such as Pine Island Glacier, does. The current uh, amount of water being uh, input into the ocean from Pine Island Glacier alone, it's contributing a net 46 gigatons of water to the sea every year. If this one glacier were to melt completely, it alone would add 1.5 meters, or nearly five feet, to the world's sea level. And while this represents a significant threat to mankind, the flora and fauna of Antarctica are experiencing a genesis. With um, these plants, I mean, they may have been carried on in by wind and that sort of thing for, for hundreds of years, but with warmer temperatures, you get the melting of the snow and thus exposing rock, soil, allowing these seeds or spores to establish themselves and grow in areas where they would never have been before. Global warming may very well be giving rise to new life here in the world's largest desert, but at what cost to the rest of the world? <laughs>